There it goes on around. It ended up breaking off and then it turned. Yeah. Here we go, tree number two. That was not a good shot, so I'll try again. There we go, attempt number two. Uh, you know, it's not what I wanted, but I think I'll settle for it. rigging rope set up there and um, we're gonna need it for a couple of these limbs um, just the omni block up there again just like the last tree but a lot of these we can free fall so I'm gonna skip lunch here the two guys are taking lunch right now Felicia's gonna work by herself down there like a true champion until the guys are done with lunch and then she'll switch them uh because we're running a little bit behind schedule but a lot of this tree I can bomb down without wrecking the yard so um I'll be doing that and she'll be getting the limbs in the meantime and uh, yeah hopefully we can keep ourselves busy so you ready for a big one Felicia <laughs> nice and cleaned out lots of room for our rigging ropes I'm gonna put two legs on this thing I'm gonna put the the blade kit piece on oh, I whack myself in the ribs yeah I'm gonna put this one out farther I'll put the heavier dutier one closer like. Okay, now we'll hook up this side, our fancy, fancy uh, notch rapid rig, which by the way I had to untie this to get it through the, uh, what's that called, there? the rigging ring, and that fisherman's knot was the worst thing in the world to untie, so forget that, I ain't ever tying that on there again. But um, might use a, I used a bowline this time. Might use a girth hitch bowline to another time. But <laughs> I also feel like two strands of rope inside the ring might be kind of a challenge. Let's see here. So go ahead and pull some pull all the slack out of this that you can, Elisha. Uh, we'll show YouTube here geometry of things. Okay, let me give me some rope back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice thing about the Blake hitch is you can adjust the length of your legs here. Okay, pull slack out. There we go. Okay, now the important thing to remember is that our, our rigging line still is at a pretty hard angle up there. And so what this branch 
wants to be over here when we cut it off. So what we're going to do is there's two things we could do. We could either try and swing it around um, if our ring point will help it go the way it wants to enough. Um, or we can cut off here at the butt and let it slide down past the tree as long as we can protect ourselves and not get raked by it real bad. I am going to hide on this side of the stem here and cut it off at an angle so that way the butt goes right past the tree. I think that will be our best uh, success. Um, like I said, it's a little bit overkill. I mean, it really could have gone out there and just butt tied it halfway out and cut off and done again would have been just about as fast but it's a little more fun a little more reliable so those are two reasons we do things right more fun and more reliable okay here we go <laughs> That's my favorite part about rigging, is when the plan comes together. Alright, we're going to do the same thing with this limb. Okay, that should be good to go. Okay, Elisha, you want to go ahead and put that in the porter wrap, pull the slack out of it. Okay, on this one, I think I can get this one to swing around because of the location of our rigging point and the way gravity looks, so I'm going to cut a traditional hinge on it. Traditional, not a traditional hinge, I'm going to cut it facing that way so it'll bend the way we want it to. You got to make sure you don't... Uh, don't put it straight that way, you want it to be down a little bit because gravity's going to have to have some space to do its thing as it loads the ropes and all that. And I am going to cut this off, let me think about it, a little bit higher than the notch. Um, I'm going to make the back cut a wee bit higher than the notch. And the purpose for that is because as it comes around, there's going to be a lot of force wanting to push it back this way. And eventually that's what's going to happen is it'll come this way. But I want it to get around far enough before it does. So we'll see how it goes. Ready? So that's fun. Let's see if I can push it on around here. I ain't got nothing to push against. There it goes on around. It ended up breaking off and then it turned. Yeah, so aside from pinching myself, it went pretty good. Um, so the error in that was that I expected more out of this hinge wood than I could get, and so it broke before it... Uh, in fact, actually, if I look at it, my hinge is a little too... Um, what's the word? A little too vertical. That's the right word. And so what would have been better is if I had it pointed down a little bit more, the hinge would have less likely... would have been less likely to break. So it's okay. Every new branch of the learning experience. And that's why we do some things we don't have to do when we don't have to do them. You know, just for learning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alrighty, there we go. I'm going to come down and move my laner down below that dead branch and then cut it. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, it's just a dead branch. You can put that in the quarter wrap. And I'll tell you what, tip tying always gets me. 
I know it's safe, but still, it well, I mean, it's not always safe. You gotta be careful, but I know I'm safe, but it always gives me a little fright. A couple extra branches with it, I guess. Righty, Ooh, nice and wet. It rained, we waited like an hour, now we're back up in a tree. So, yeah, we're just gonna keep plucking and getting these out of here. Um, we'll see how it goes. Look at that. Oh, all the water just dripping on me when we shook the tree. That's not my favorite. Come on now. Here she goes, here she goes. Woo! The rain! What's on remaining? We've got tip tied up there. We're gonna cut off here. We gotta watch out for our ring rope over there. And we got lots of protection here so we won't get hit by it. So good job, Elisha. You did good. See if you can lay that towards the plywood there for Felicia to make her life a little bit easier. Here we got ourselves a pretty nasty tip tie. It limbs just a little bit too long to send it in one piece uh, with a butt tie because they're not real high. And uh, so there's a chance a butt will hit the ground, but at least if, if it was butt tied, it wouldn't, you know, it would have a chance of sweeping the plants on there, which we don't want to do. So this way it won't happen. Um, it's a good bit of weight. It's covered in wet rain right now as opposed to dry rain. LOL, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Good job, Elisha, for saving my hiney, because I apparently can't make that go right. Okay, well that's not what I wanted, it's not what the ground man wanted, but it'll work. Alrighty guys, so we got chased out um, by the rain yesterday, it was thundering and lightning and raining really hard, just our summertime thunderstorms here in Ohio, but that's okay. Um, we're back here tomorrow, we're going to knock the rest of this tree out. Hopefully it won't take too long. Um, and we've got the wood from this tree and the wood from that tree still to load up into our truck and haul away. So the goal is to be out of here um, by like 11 o'clock uh, noon, something like that, we'll see. Um, we're all supposed to get some more rain today. So, you know, the plan has to be very flexible, but that's okay, that's just how it goes. All right, now that we're up here, um, I'll show you what we're gonna do. We've got kind of this main central spar on this side where we got all of our rigging lined up. And we got this other other top here, which ties in just below me there. Um, we're just gonna tip the top out of it and take it down in a couple pieces, you know, no big no big deal. Um, should go pretty, pretty quick. And then we'll probably 
uh, tip the tops out of the other part. Probably won't even rig them because we've got good space. I can land those down there. And uh, then we'll just flop some wood down. That'll be it. We'll be out of here. Praise the Lord. Everybody ready down there? Okay. or not watching, editing a video where I was using a rope snap instead of this thing. I'm telling you what, it was so much faster. This is still faster in tying a knot, at least for me. I know some guys would probably tie a bow in faster than I can for sure. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll get faster the more I use it. Cool. All right, so we got the last little bit of this up here. One portion of it leans favorably, the other portion leans back a little bit, so we're going to cut it all off below the union so that way the favorable portion will help pull the unfavorable portion in the way we want it to go. And uh, we're just going to free fall it right down to there. And uh, there's still the root plate right in here, so it'll be good and firm where the butt lands and it won't be too much, too much of a problem on the yard. Um, but yeah, it'll be an epic tree topping for sure. <laughs> I cut the hinge off on this side a little bit as it went down because I wanted to bring it around this way. Just a little bit as I saw it coming where it was, as I saw where it was heading. So, yeah. Now the easy part. Alrighty. Coming down on the Gravity Express. Oh man. Well, that knocked a piece of sod out. Hopefully, you can roll that log away and stick that sod back in. But it over rotated just a smidge. That's like my common failure is to make them just a smidge too short. Coming down. That one was better. Kind of wish it didn't land on that piece, but it was better. <laughs> Well, I was going to film that, but I made a big oopsie and cut the hinge all the way off. So, thankfully I had the tree pusher here and Joel to save the day. But uh, that's where the log ended up. I did hit the stump over there, just the side of it, so it worked out perfectly. And interestingly, it launched the log that far away from the stump. So, that's the first time I've ever done that. It's a rather embarrassing mistake, but it worked out okay in the end, so... Definitely try not to do that again. All righty, we are about to head out of here. We got both trees all the way cleaned up. Just the stumps there. They've got a couple of stumps in the property. They're gonna have somebody come grind them all at the same time, which is just fine by me. Um, we just picked up our plywood and you can see here, you know, it's there's an imprintation of it. So we're gonna take the blower and fluff the grass the whole way along there. Uh, Cause it's, you know, you go all that work to put the plywood down, not do turf damage and to leave all the grass mat down. That's, that's no fun. So we're going to do that and then we're going to throw a little bit more wood that we have stashed over there in the truck and then we're going to be out of here and we'll be on to the next job. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you again in the next video.